Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to briefly talk about NVVM Cross uh, combined with Xamarin Forms, the template that's available for it as a starter package, and briefly going through the project to kind of explain what's there and uh, how it all works. So if you want to download the template for NVVM Cross uh, combined with Xamarin Forms, go to Extensions and Updates online and search in MVVM cross. If you want to be 100% sure, add the word starter. Um, under MVVM cross, there's a handful of templates, um, a few of which I've tried. Uh, this one by Jim Bennett is, um, or his newer version rather, the uh, 2.0.1 is actually using MVVM cross 5.2. Uh, the Xamarin forms with MVVM cross 5 solution template, which is the one we're talking about today, um, it currently is using MVVM cross 5.1 or so. So it's a little bit dated, um, but I mean, that's what you have available to you. So uh, go ahead and install this. You'll have to restart Visual Studio and you can start a new project pretty easily. New project. And then uh, under Visual C Sharp, you'll see MVX forms template. So you're going to want to select Xamarin forms with MVVM cross 5 solutions template. So I guess we'll say NVVM cross Xamarin tutorial or something like that. So it wherever you want. So once you've gone ahead and established your solution, you're going to see four source folders in here and two test projects. So um, in the source, you have the core, which is a portable class library project, which essentially means that the code that's in here is going to be applied in each of these other projects. Your Windows UWP, Universal Windows uh, Phone files, which also works on Windows 10 computers, or I mean desktop PCs or laptops. Um, iOS, obviously for Apple's iOS phones, and uh, I, guess, I guess Apple has tablets too, right? Um, Droid for Android. And then below you got two different test projects, one for UI tests and one for unit tests. So there's not really going to be anything in these tests yet um, that actually matters, but you can go ahead and edit that later. Uh, so let's kind of dig through what is available here in this package. So first off, I want to go up to NuGet Package Manager, Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. A couple of the really useful packages here, aside from Xamarin Forms and MVVM Cross, uh, ACR User Dialogs, if you want to have messages pop up on screen, uh, cross-platform, not having to redesign that for each of your three uh, different main projects here, Droid, iOS, and UWP. So that's cool. Um, down here at the bottom, XUnit and Xamarin UI tests for those test projects down there. And you also have InUnit, which I believe the UI test is using InUnit and the unit tests are using uh, XUnit. Yeah, that's right. So overall, it's got a pretty good uh, list of default packages. Um, now, of course, as I mentioned, uh, this template is still a little bit out of date. Um, so currently it's running MVVM cross 5.1.1 uh, by default anyway. And Xamarin forms, uh, let's see here, 2.3.4.248. So it's not like it's too out of date. It's just not the latest versions. Um, however, as of today, um, in the latest 2.4 version, if you update to that, you will run into a couple bugs out of the box. Um, I was able to get it fully running on Android and U Windows UWP. Um, updating to version, let's see, 5.3.2 for MVVM Cross. But if there's not really anything in the newer updates that you really need, you can just stick with this version and you should be fine. Okay, so anyway, to kind of dig into the default code here, um, when you have this MVVM cross plus Xamarin forms, so once you start digging into the code, one of the cool things you will notice is that they basically got uh, localization services set up for you out of the box, um, something that MVVM cross does in its package. Uh, now, whenever you want to use lo the localization service, uh, you can take a look at the different Xamarin Forms pages and you'll see res translate. Um, that's going to be referencing the namespace over here, which is .core.resources. And these translation resources are pulling out of the resources folder and you have each of the different resx files here. 
So uh, ResX allows you to kind of neatly declare names and values for uh, basically a huge list of strings. And then you can get them translated into different languages. So that's pretty cool there. Because it's Xamarin Forms, uh, you may notice that the views are actually being put in the portable class library rather than the individual projects down here. Uh, that's because Xamarin Forms allows you to basically create one view and have it be cross-platform. Of course, with some limitations, you might not get um, a perfectly designed UI, but in many cases, just basic looks, it works very well, and it will save you some time coding because you don't have to rewrite these page classes or yeah, for each of these uh, different projects, Droid iOS you. So of course, having Xamarin Forms allows you to save time because you won't have to rewrite these pages for each of the different projects down here. So that's really cool. Um, also, that's model view view model. Um, your view models talk to each other rather than the views navigating directly with each other. The views don't really know anything about the functionality is kind of the idea. And uh, mostly they're just there for presenting information to the user. So when you have these uh, view models here and you want to move to another page, you'll notice it calls a uh, navigation service, which is injected up here in the constructor and you navigate between view models rather than navigating between views. So uh, where does it get this dependency injection from? Um, basically, how is this being passed in as a parameter, the navigation service, and how is it being declared or defined, uh, the interface being resolved to an actual class? And inside of MVVM cross, uh, you basically register types basically declaring, okay, I have this interface and it's going to be resolved as this actual class type that inherits this interface. So whenever you try to resolve the interface, it's going to spit out the actual class object. And uh, that's really useful because you can declare different objects that resolve as this type depending on which project you're in. So for instance, if we go over to the droid setup.cs, you'll see the localization service. It so for instance, in setup.cs for Android, you're going to have the singleton being registered for the interface, iSettings, and that's going to be resolved as uh, the current settings, basically with the context of it being within uh, MVV cross forms droid rather than one of the other packages. And so you get the objects that are appropriate to your platform. Okay, also it has a debug tracer declared out of the box, so it's got this little debug trace class, which you can of course edit. And this is actually pretty useful because as you debug with this template, it's going to spit out extra information into your console output, so that's pretty helpful. And then there's a couple other minor things like a pre-created class for event to command behavior, so if there is an event inside of your page views, that uh, normally can't be bound, uh, binding being a pretty good approach for MVVM, then uh, you can basically force it to be bindable by using event to command behavior. Won't really go into that right now, but basically you take the event and you attach the ability for it to have a behavior, and then you can bind to that behavior. So I just wanted to show you guys this package. Um, once again, you get it, tools, extension, updates, online, MVV cross and uh, this template can get you set up having both Xamarin forms and MVV cross combined uh, can actually build out of the box and just kind of start coding your app right away. So it's a really useful package and uh, I'll link to the actual project page in the description as well. I hope you guys are going to be able to uh, take advantage of this and get a head start on doing MVV cross. So, so thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys in my future content.